I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. And I will proclaim the end. We use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! Here I go! Yeah! It's done, so we can move on for the future. is in your hands. As you saw, this video is about the three Aegises or Monados. I aim to dispel major inaccuracies and in scaling I have seen for the Trinity, as well as versus Battle Wiki's abhorrent wank of one of the processors. I'd also like to touch on their true strength, because I do generally agree with versus Battle Wiki scaling. I also want to mention I won't be going into depth on their hacks, or abilities, I'll probably throw up the versus battle wiki's hacks list for Antos since they gave Antos the most hacks out of all the cores for some ungodly reason. Very recently, the hierarchy of the trinity was revealed. Let's go over that hierarchy from weakest to strongest. Antos, the Arbiter, Monado of the future. Antos is the voice of reason but is utterly useless without the other two trinity. It's stated that Antos cannot function without Logos or Numa existing and giving it their opinions and influence. Logos, the Endbringer, Monado of Destruction. His statements are very impressive, and in Xenoblade 3, it is heavily implied Console N has Logos' core, which, uh, after I cover Numa, you'll see why he's second and not first. Numa, the Holy Spirit, Monado of Creation. I'll just come out and say it. Through feats, Numa is objectively the strongest core. She not only destroyed Logos, but Antos as well. Not to mention it's heavily, and I mean goddamn heavily implied, Noah has Numa's core and his gauntlet like his great-grandson Matthew. So why is Versus Battle Wiki so wrong about Xenoblade? Ooh, yeah, um... They said Alvis was the true creator of the Xenoblade multiverse, a divine higher dimensional being, and the creator of all ether and the Xenoblade multiverse. What? What the fuck? Which of course, as I just explained, no, they are the nerd in the back trying to be the voice of reason. Antos got bullied into submission by its sister and genocidal brother. Not only was it bullied, but flat out destroyed. Alvis or A, which is the consciousness of Antos, which is now a separate being called Alpha, took the core's place, but was so significantly weaker, Alvis needed Rex and Shulk to power origins and the multiverse didn't crumble. Alpha was... And I am an avatar, the spirit of your world. Just like Alpha needed all of you, you and your world, you need me. So someone else has to pick up the slack. The annihilation events, they'll keep happening whether you like it or not. The world needs a bit of propping up. Until the time comes, yes. Rex and Shulk respectively were able to fend off Alpha slash Antos and fight back pretty successfully. Not only that, they were able to stop Alpha and Antos. A cool little tidbit, uh, Rex basically said, yeah, if I had Numa, Antos would be dead immediately. Just a little uh, cherry on top of the shit cake that is versus Battle Wiki's Alpha Wink. Now it's true, Alpha slash Antos was the core used for Origin. But that doesn't really change much. Origin was built off of Antos' data. It's also fair to assume Numa transmitted all Restian data into Origin. Now, versus Battle Wiki it did get one thing explicitly correct. These Trinity Core processors are higher dimensional beings. 
they are above the 4D logic of the multiverse, capable of making realms that transcended space and time. They are also connected to a thing called the Zohar, which if Xenosaga is even partially canon, like the ending feature Redeem seems to say, that means the Zohar would have to skill very very similar to that of Xenosagas, which housed a lower domain and higher domain. Now I don't think it's entirely canon, but here is the description of the lower domain and higher domain taken directly from the wiki. The imaginary number domain houses the consciousness of every human in all sentient life. The imaginary domain can be described as the domain of consciousness, or even the domain of concepts, or perhaps even the domain of the soul. The real number domain houses the humans in life corresponding to physical form. The real number domain is considered to be the domain of substance. That complex structure itself is the underlying reason why the profoundness in our lives is born, why we feel mystery in the world, and why we believe in the infinite possibilities. The Zohar also connects every single universe or multiverse depending on how you view the structure of the infinite possibilities. It is something called a meta-universe manifold, which literally means multiversal manifold. It's beyond fourth dimensional energy, it's stated to be infinite. We see people like Rex, Shulk, all the Trinity, Zanza, Klaus, slash the Architect, wield this power pretty much flawlessly. How strong are each core, I hear you asking? Let's start with Antos. Antos created Shulk's universe, also created a pocket dimension called the Shackled Universe, which is basically an endless or infinite ocean. It also contained something called the Passage of Fate, which contains infinite possibilities, which are shown to be different possibilities of the future, or basically different universes connected through one timeline that branches off into millions. Antos is also the backbone of Origin. Alright, alright, I hear you. What the fuck is Origin, you're asking? Basically, the coding for all life, memories, souls, existence itself. It has both Shulk and Rex's universal data, including both worlds' passage of fate. It can also create memories into its own physical reality, basically kind of like how Zanza used Alvis to make memory space. It created the world of pre-collapsed Xenoblade, which has some similarities to Xenosaga, at least. I'll, I'll throw a scene up. Now that you've seen that, it has a few people named right from Xenosaga. Also has some things that line up with Xenogears and Xenoblade X. Origin also birthed a concept called Z. Z ruled over the universes with Origin. Numa and Logos possibly killed Z if the implications I talked about earlier are true. We see Consul Noah and Mio kill Z. Again, that one's my interpretation and not stated fact. But we do see Council Noah and Mio kill Z. Now let's move on to Logos. Logos, stated to be able to destroy all rest and the universe itself if left unchecked. It's also said to be existence itself, which you can mean the endless universes that coexist side by side, but no. He should scale to Numa to some degree as they pretty much equals even if Numa has shown stronger feats in terms of killing things. If the implications are true, Council N used Logos to directly damage the processor that is Antos, like we see here when it basically destroys part of the core of Antos. Numa downright killed Logos in Xenoblade 2. The core was destroyed, but possibly due to Origin and all the data in Origin, it regenerated. As shown here, data is all that's needed to restore cores of the Aegises. Not only that, she downright destroyed Antos's core, killing Alpha. Now only the personality 
or consciousness of Antos exist as Alvis. Now, where do I scale the Aegis' power? Most likely low complex multiversal. That's the part I agree with. What I disagree with is their speed. Their speed should be immeasurable since they stand outside of space-time. If you don't believe that, then they move massively faster than light. Rex can move so fast with Mithra slash Numa due to warping reality, he is faster than Jin a casually lightspeed character, not to mention that's a weaker version of Rex. He also is able to freeze time pretty casually by using that same power. So if he doesn't really freeze time, he's moving so fast, he basically slows down time. These characters aren't bound by conventional 4D shit. That's also substantially backed up by the fact they act like the slave generators from Xenogears, which absorb the infinite energy from the Zohar. This is also confirmed by the Siren model kit, which had a bunch of lore. But if you want more on the Aegises, check out my last Aegis video which was about Mithra and whether or not her and Malice are Monados. That's all I have for this power scaling video. Raven out. Peace.